The Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph STIs is a spectrograph, also with a camera mode, installed on the Hubble Space Telescope. Aerospace engineer Bruce Woodgate of the Goddard Space Flight Center was the principal investigator and creator of the STIs. It operated continuously from 1997 until a power supply failure in August 2004. After repairs, it began operating again in 2009. The spectrograph has made many important observations, including the first spectrum of the atmosphere of an extrasolar planet, HD 209458b. The STIs was installed on Hubble in 1997 during its second servicing mission STS-82 by Mark Lee and Stephen Smith, replacing the high-resolution spectrograph and the faint object spectrograph. It was designed to operate for five years. On August 3, 2004 an electronic failure rendered STIs inoperable, ending its use two years beyond its predicted lifespan. In order to bring it back to operational status, the instrument was repaired by Space Shuttle astronauts during STS-125, servicing Mission 4, launched on May 11, 2009. The crew did a long many -hour EVA to repair the instrument. Congratulations, you brought STIs back to life. Design. The STIs has three 1024 x 1024 detector arrays. The first is a charge-coupled device with a 52 x 52 arc second field of view, covering the visible and near-infrared spectrum from 200 nm to 1030 nm. The other two detectors are multi-anode multi-channel arrays, each with a 25 x 25 arc second field of view. One is cesium telluride, and covers the near UV between 160 nanometers and 310 nanometers. The other is CSI and covers the far UV between 115 nanometers and 170 nanometers. STIs is both a spectrograph and an imaging camera, and is focused on ultraviolet light. Topic. Timeline February 14, 1997 STIs installed STS August 3, 2004 STIs goes offline due to power failure 2009 STIs repaired STS Selected discoveries and observations On its 20th anniversary 1997 to 2017, NASA noted a selection of discoveries and or observations conducted with STIs Survey of 20 galaxies to look for black holes Study of the intergalactic medium Study of the galactic halo Study of interstellar medium Chemical analysis of an atmosphere of an exoplanet Observations of a dust disk around Beta Pictoris Study of massive stars in R136 in the Tarantula Nebula Study of the star Eta Carini Study of supernova 1987A Study of flows from an active galaxy Topic. See also Advanced camera for surveys Cosmic origins spectrograph Faint object camera Near-infrared camera and multi-object spectrometer Wide field and planetary camera Wide field and planetary camera 2 Wide field camera 3